More than half of patients with polymyalgia rheumatica have a relapse during tapering of glucocorticoid therapy, leading to long-term treatment and substantial glucocorticoid-related morbidity. A new trial evaluated whether cerilumab, a monoclonal antibody that blocks the interleukin-6 receptor, would improve disease remission in patients with polymyalgia rheumatica that flared during glucocorticoid taper. In this phase 3 multicenter randomized control trial, 118 patients with symptomatic polymyalgia rheumatica and at least one recent flare during glucocorticoid taper were assigned to receive either subcutaneous cerilumab every two weeks for 52 weeks plus an overlapping 14-week glucocorticoid taper or subcutaneous placebo every two weeks plus an overlapping 52-week glucocorticoid taper. The primary endpoint was the proportion of patients with sustained remission at week 52 defined as clinical remission by week 12, plus the absence of disease flare, sustained C-reactive protein reduction, and adherence to glucocorticoid taper from weeks 12 to 52. The proportion of patients with sustained remission at week 52 was 28% in the cerilumab group, as compared with 10% in the placebo group. Secondary endpoints also favored cerilumab, including the cumulative glucocorticoid dose over 52 weeks. The cerilumab group was more likely than the placebo group to have neutropenia and arthralgia and to discontinue treatment because of adverse events. The authors conclude that in patients with polymyalgia rheumatica who have a relapse during glucocorticoid taper, treatment with cerilumab plus glucocorticoid taper improved the frequency of sustained remission at week 52 as compared with placebo plus glucocorticoid taper. Full trial results are available at nejm.org.